to the 45, and almost had it pop loose as he was hit out of bounds. Turnover, our first of the game, comes at a key time. And the Braves break the huddle. Coin comes wide to the right on the near side. Also have a man in the slot right, one to the left. Here's the snap, handoff. This is Broomfield again, has the hole across the 35, 30, down inside the 25, and down all the way near the 17-yard line. Field comes in motion on the Wildcat. Ransom keeps it himself inside the five, into the end zone for the touchdown. A 10-yard touchdown run from J. Min Ransom. And with 10.31 left to play in the third quarter, it takes less than 90 seconds for the Braves to strike, and they lead it 13 to nothing. Here's the snap, and the kick is up, and it is good. So the Braves, with a 14 to nothing lead, with 10.31 left to play in the third quarter, you're listening to Canandaigua Football on K1045. Boys look good, working hard, like these big lines. Jeff's done a nice job with these kids. I think it's a good game, nice day, but they're, they're sharpening their skills a little bit here, so I think uh, I think we'll be okay. Now we gotta just shut them down in the run, D, and we'll be fine. Uh, I have to be in the water to uh, timeout to the Braves. 
Oh, you got it right here, don't you? Do you have to carry both of them? Yeah. Are they heavy? Yeah. Do they appreciate it when you bring them water? Yeah. All right, good job, buddy. Thanks. So I pretty much know all the uh, the locations where people watch games, but this one has been a, has been a secret spot. I haven't seen before. I see you got some nice construction here. Yeah. Well, it's like, can't very, nice, very nice. Very <laughs> nice. You know, it looks pretty, looks pretty sturdy. How, how is it for watching the games? Oh, it's great. That's a perfect view. We, the only thing we can't do is see the scoreboard, but there's enough. I coach Frank Baker, so I just find a little minion to run <laughs> run around and tell me the score. It's perfect. <laughs> it's great. How'd you like today's game? It was great. Good. Braves look good. good. Out of the shotgun, Broomfield goes in motion. They fake the handoff. Ransom straight up the middle has a chance to break it. 35-30, 25-20, 15-10, 5 touchdown. Jamin Ransom from 40 yards out, third touchdown of the afternoon, and the Braves have blown it open. It's now 20 to nothing. Bombard to attempt the extra point. The snap, the hold, the kick is up. A toe jam, line drive that just clears the crossbar. It still counts. And the Braves now lead it 21-0 with 8.16 left to play in the third quarter. You're listening to Braves football on K104.5. And so far, the shutout going here this afternoon. Feldman to kick it away from the 40 on the kickoff. And that's another touchback, ladies and gentlemen. Book it. Feldman. Boom in there. Yeah. It's, and, and it's just such a weapon to have, and he's got a little help from the wind today. But, I mean, we have seen the difference field position has made in this game. Rivera is the tailback. Wilkerson back to pass. Looks right now, dumps it out of the flat on the screenplay. This is Rivera. Spins out of a tackle and then gets drilled in the middle of the field right at about the 22 or the 23. Big hit by the linebacker, Cody Cooper, who's doing a nice yeah. job of filling in for Travis Welch. Gain of three, up to the 23. It'll be second down and seven. Coin wide to the left, and Broomfield slot left as they go Wildcat yet again. Broomfield comes across in motion. Here's the snap. Ransom off tackle right, and boy, he gets five yards after initial contact as finally he's brought down right at midfield at the 50-yard line. Patrick Coyne breaks the tackle and has the first down, 40, 35, and he gets stuck at the 34-yard line, but picked up the first down. Boy, you have to make the tackle there. But give Coyne credit, kept the feet moving, picks up the extra six yards on the first down. Austin Wilkerson under center, takes the snap. Hand off, and boy, Rivera is hit three yards in the backfield, is stood up, and then about three more Braves arrive in terms of reinforcements, and so that'll be a big loss. Loss of three, back to the 42. Matt Small, good penetration from his defensive tackle. Small will rotate in there on the defensive line. He's 6'4", 223. You know, Brendan O'Brien comes in sometimes to the defensive line. He's 6'5", 237. I mean, it's a real strength of this team, the size of that defensive line. Second down at 13 at their own 42. Power eye formation, pitch right. This is Reginald Russell, and not much there. Ahead for a gain of a couple. Again, Matt Smolt in on the stop. Yeah, two guys' names we've been calling a lot. Cody Cooper, the sophomore linebacker. Wildcat formation, Broomfield slot left, coin wide left. And this time, they bring the man in motion from the right side across the formation, 25-20, inside the 15-yard line. Nick Johnson gets the handoff from his wing back position and takes it down all the way to the 13-yard line. So there's a little bit of a new wrinkle in the Wildcat. Wildcat formation, Ransom awaiting the shotgun and Johnson again going to be in motion, sweeping the left side, has the hole, turns the corner into the end zone for a touchdown. Nick Johnson with his second touchdown run of the season. This one comes from six yards out and some more extracurricular activity as the flag flies well after the play, but it's now 27 to nothing. Now Nick Johnson, kind of the closer here in the uh, late stages of the third quarter in the early fourth quarter. Unsportsmanlike conduct against Greece Olympia. And we'll see if they add that to 
the kickoff. Meanwhile, in to attempt the extra point is Eli Bombard. Patrick Coyne will hold. Snap is good. Hold is down, kick is up, and no good. Wide to the right. Somebody may have gotten a piece of it, and again, we have jawing after the play. We'll take a timeout. We'll let you know about the penalty. Understand? All right, bring it in. Hey, way to put the dagger in. Now, nail in that cup. Stick off on three. One, two, three. Kick off. Oh, my goodness. I don't think I've ever seen this before, Tony. The Braves will be kicking off at the 30-yard line of Greece Olympia. Well, you wonder whether or not they consider doing a little bit of an onside kick here. Yeah. The field position would yeah. be great. Or it would be fun just to see how far you can kick it. Let's be honest, it's 28 to nothing. Put it through the uprights. <laughs> Heads up on the hill. Let's see how far this goes. Here we go. Out of the track. Oh, through the uprights. Oh, he hit the left upright. No good on the kickoff. Now that, I guarantee you'll never see. Boy, he hit the uprights with some velocity, too. That ball was moving. Wilkerson under center on second down and eight at his own 42. Straight back to pass. Both backs protecting, so this is a max protect, and he's still going to go down to the quarterback sack. Connor Heeb has been hunting the quarterback, Austin Wilkerson, all night, or all afternoon, anyway. But it was Ryan Heeb that was the recipient of that sack as Connor ran him right into Ryan. So he'll get, Ryan will get credit for the sack and Connor was back there as well and all the way back to the 30 yard line goes the football. So third and 20, 8.50 and counting left to play with the Braves up 27 to nothing. I formation, Wilkerson under center. Andre Rivera is the tailback. Straight back to pass, looking, looking, now rolls right. Still looking and he will go out of bounds. He's chased out of bounds by Kyle Kutry. Kutri, the 6'1", 166-pound junior. And here comes another punt. Also in the game, Claudio Lugo, the senior defensive back. So this is always a good opportunity to get some guys some playing time. First down and 10 at the 38. And we have a new quarterback in there as well. This is the guy we've seen at Hunter, Brian Collister. Time of the game. Two wide outs to the right, one to the left. And handoff straight up the middle. And bouncing. Oh my goodness, Rivera bounced off the tackle, but then got licked right at the line of scrimmage by Kyle Landrigan, wearing Connor Moore's old number, and he had a hit like Connor Moore used to deliver. Landrigan, the 5'6, 119 pound junior. And Canandaigua going to make it six in a row at Evans Field and for the second straight year they shut out the Greece Olympia Spartans the final score this afternoon 27 to nothing